Good morning. This morning, I'm going to uh, conclude the 37 factors of awakening talk in this uh, winter retreat, especially the last part, the, the Noble Eightfold Path, uh, mentioned about what I know with my own understanding of this path is a noble path. The quite important factor is right mindfulness and right concentration as the total end or the difficulty and break the mind. So I'm going to talk a little bit about right mindfulness and right concentration as the noble true path or noble true come to noble path in this two to eight means four noble two come to noble eight for path the last two factors to be benefit to the very life end of the life continually into the future is mindfulness and right concentration. I cannot use a simple word to say what it means because of the Buddha himself when he awakened what he realized and experienced is very simple until no such word easy to explain it but he used very simple word to explain what is the right mindfulness and right concentration touching to that experience can be expressed in the word use very simple word but in myself that I'm walking in this noble equal path what I can contemplate and say something is not that kind of big word like I touching to that goal and then express no I on the path what I can say is I contemplate it Yesterday, after my morning talk, then I write four lines. I use lines to express what I use a data scoop to see the truth, but seeing only here, round, long, and see what I can see to the truth. But the truth is definitely bigger than and deeper than what I can see like human being right now seeing into the universe what he can expect what he can limit himself to see is always discover more deeper more far than what he can discover right now so human need to be humble like that and one day you may see the more perfection what you see as the truth and what you can realize more deep and more wise and big what you can realize as the path. So I use these four lines. The first one is great ambitious, great compassion, and another word I use it is very different. It's called trouble taken. Trouble taken. So these three words I use the Chinese language of understanding is called xiong xing bei xing ku xing 
The second one is Sansing Liu Du, means body mind, compassion mind, and one more is called empty mind. In order to process the practice of seven, no, six paramita perfection. This is mind. That my understand and many many years of learning the Dharma. I get into my life connection. This two line is what I learn to add in more solution in order to perfect this two line, guide my life into the goal of liberation. So the first line there is called great ambitious or great ambition, great compassion and trouble taken, taken. So this two line is from the Buddha himself, what I learned him. He is a, not a, like what I call it, religious or a normal person. He is not that. He is more ambitious than the king in a country. He is open himself, more greater, more profound, and more higher of his, I call desire, if that's pure desire. So he's working for all beings he can connect it to, liberate them, help them, even though like with Bandaka. Uh, uh, what we call that? Uh, uh, very stupid or, or very low mental mentally low, cannot pick up easy to move forward. He still take him to North Face and train him. Very smart and very high wisdom like Sri. He still can take him as a disciple. He walk across many, many big country, big city to serve. He is not a religious or not stay in certain and helping certain kind of person. No, he is very big mind. Compassion, big compassion. So what I see his life is for all beings, big compassion. Not small loving kindness, not only for a nation or for a, 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 a small city. No, not like that. We never stop traveling and nursing the one who look for the truth the one who want to walk for the path how he can do it right mindfulness and right concentrate because he fulfilled all this factor and his mind state is like that only these two can be named of his mind state so he can trouble taken all the difficulty, suffer everything he can take it in, even though someone wants to kill him. As his disciple want to break the uh, uh, assembly, become a leader, he, what he show is very, very different. That kind of deep patience for parents and that kind of taken all the suffer in silence even though the assembly sometimes you know fight back cannot understand what he said and he still say ah this is the goal even we break into two piece and the quality still go you know try to compare into unity and then he just take a break walk into the wood and observe the Dharma 
and make himself peace and calm, not looking for any solution to comfort his mind, but trouble thicker. He takes all things inside into his mind and he purifies this difficulty because his mind is the factor of liberation. So, Ku Xing is one word that I learned from me. Yeah. So, I don't say this and that in the great. So, I can have yeah, like great ambition, great, you know, passion. I may not have that much, but Ku Xing means trouble thicker is one things that I can learn from him and be more cautious seeing this as a good sign. So the second one, Bodhisattva life, means someone who looks for enlightenment, someone who looks for liberation. I call this kind of pity and this kind of hope as a Bodhisattva. So before he become Alahang, he is a Bodhisattva. All the time until he is come into the goal, then he changes his name called Arahang. So the Buddha is great Arahang. Yeah. So who enter into same quality, no big or small, but when you are not perfect into that hundred percent yet, you are ninety nine percent, you still can call Buddhism. Have a body heart, have a compassion heart, yeah. learn everything to letting go detected. Yeah. So that you detach to something, empty your mind. So emptiness. No self. Not a self. Not a Graphic. That is what all this is about. So, how can you do this? Perfect. The six balami, or ten balami, or four balami. You need to have larger balami. So, balami is uh, some quality that you need to fulfill. No one can give it to you. Your own cause and effect. You do it, you have it. You don't do it, just wasted the time of improvement. So these two lines that I very mindful and hopefully I have the right mindful to see it because once your attention is not it means you miss when the condition rises. So always like that. Alert Burden and concentration. Third line is my word. Bo. Careful. Thoughtness. T O U G H. N E S S uh, means not easy to break. Uh, bold means very bold. B O L D. Yeah. So bold need to act in careful. Bold and careful. Cautious. If you don't have that well ball, sometimes you make big mistake. Need to have a scientist mind, very careful. That is exactly from right mindfulness into right concentration. So I put it into very common word as a into the world. So let me have very bold. If someone wants to kill me, 
want to attack me, want to do this and that, to use the word harm me, use this and that uh, to deny the truth, I still very poor. You don't believe me, you go. I still stay in the path. That is uh, independent, alone, feel this journey. No one can be uh, uh, supported your mind. Your mind needs to be overcome and purified. Very bold and very careful. Until one day my mouth only opened to say to Dumb. No other gossiping. Mindful and careful there. So that attentively focusing in order that this kind of just now I said tone, is it? T T T Tautna. Yeah, time is another word called tenacity. 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 <laughs> Correct. <laughs> My English is very poor. I try to translate. The Chinese call tan da, xin xi, lun xi. This is a Chinese word. The third line is my own life until today. Even though come to very lonely places, this is not my culture. This is very new to me, and no more other my followers can support here, uh, and they can uh, uh, become a partner for me. I still not feel godly because of this line is my realization. Tan da, xin xi, ren xin, not easy to break. Even though today I come into the forest, only me and animal, no problem at all. I am not easy to break. I got three kinds of Buddha, Pajika Buddha, Alahang, and Bodhisattva into the vehicle. So I don't have any difficulty like easy to up and down I, in my emotion. My mood is very stable because of mindful and right concentration. Another line I want to share with you. Yeah. This line is called 坚韧勤劳向上达观 I use four terms. So this for them translate into English. The first one is lofty aspiration and high ideals into this four term. So the first one is called firm and persistent. The second one is called hard working, qin lao. The third one is called advance or forward, always move forward, always move advance. By the practice, the studying and learning, investigation, always advance and move forward. No stuck there. You stuck there. You attach there. Open your eyes, open your ears all the time. Empty your eyes, empty your ears. Empty your hands. Keep stepping forward. This is called Xiang San, Chinese word. And last one called Da Guan. Da Guan means, here I use the translate, may not come into the point, but optimistic and openness can be shown in the quality of Da Guan. Da Guan means the inside of observation. 
from the observation means he is very mindful and concentrated. And when the rising and seeing from the exterior world, from the mental world, all will be catch him like the mouse waiting, the cat waiting for the mouse. So that kind of openness and that kind of optimistic, I think the awaken, if you use other words I can find in the human culture, I will say this too, always optimistic, always openness, makes sense to the life. Even though it's not liberated yet, but they have a lot of freedom. Lastly, I want to say, when someone uh, enlightened himself to see the noble truth as a noble truth and to test or to practice the past as the past, then he cannot separate all these seven, 37 factors of awakening into this really path in order to calm down his emotion and to steadiness his mood in order that his memory always remember remembering is a right mindfulness so the remembering always there with bare attention then his concentrate power will be very, very deep and energetic. That is not only concentrate, but the power of concentration is deep and profound and energetic. This is the conclusion I want to give and hope it makes sense to you Thank you.